So when you're riding a motorbike, you need to wear ear protection. Not just if you have a loud bike, but even on an electric, uh, wind noise isn't just annoying, it's actively damaging to your hearing. Just so you're aware, hearing, hearing damage doesn't heal. Uh, like a clearance sofa, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, on top of that, it doesn't necessarily hurt when you lose it, and your brain has an absolutely amazing capacity to compensate. And that can mask the issue until it becomes serious. So you need to wear ear protection. I recently had a need to buy some new ear protectors. Uh, so I wanted to experiment a little and I got these. Uh, so these are decibels. And basically they are a little plastic core. Like that. A plastic core and a sort of rubber bung that goes into one end of the plastic core and then on the other end you've got this foam uh, bit, foam tip, so that tip goes in your ear and uh, around it you've got this orange material. It doesn't come like that originally, uh, you've got to pop it in a cup of boiling hot water for about five minutes and then you press it into your ear and you squish it and mold it and then it dries or cools rather into this um, solid piece uh, which is all shaped for your ear so it goes in really nicely and forms a nice snug uh, fit in your ear. Um, they also have uh, silicone tips, uh, those have a lower um, sound reduction, uh, but they fit different sizes of ear hole. You actually use those for the molding process uh, because you can't use the foam ones, but they're really easy to exchange. Uh, as you saw a minute ago, I had one of the tips off and I just put it back on. It's really simple. And they also come with this little bag which you can carry them around in. That's actually really handy because these are obviously reusable. And they're all right. Um, to explain how all right they are, uh, I'm gonna bring in my usual solution. So these are 3M, I think they're called 1100s. Uh, it's the closest thing to a, a model number I can find. And this box costs about two thirds as much as those, which, I mean, it's got 200 in it. So you might think that's great, but it's a false economy because uh, after a hundred uses, a hundred uses, no, 200 uses, because 200 pairs, uh, I will have to buy another one of these boxes. Um, I don't know how long these last, but I'm guessing it's longer than that. So, I usually carry a load of these in my pocket. And uh, sometimes I just refill the, po the pocket when it gets empty. Uh, and then when the like box starts to get low, I'll order uh, more. Uh, but like 200 pairs does last quite a long time. Um, so they're not without their disadvantages and that's why I wanted to try the decibels. Um, so for one thing, they're disposable. Uh, and I don't care what 3M says, like these like foamy things and little baggy that they come in. I'll just show you one of those. There you go, this is what you get. See, little bag, two little foam things in each bag. They're never going in the recycling, right? Even if recycling really was a thing, like I'd, I'm pretty confident the foam itself doesn't recycle and the bag probably says it's recycling, but I'm pretty confident that's never gonna get recycled. Um, so that's an issue. Um, obviously, you know, you keep ending up buying new ones 
Uh, there's an economic cost as well as an environmental cost. I don't particularly like disposables, um, but they do work very well. So that they have that going for them. Um, generally, I get maybe two uses out of them, sometimes one for various reasons. Um, maybe you could get more, but you probably shouldn't be trying to push that. Um, they're really easy to use though. So you basically just pop this up. There we go. Basically you just squish it. You roll it up and then you very, 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 very quickly try to get it into your ear before it expands again, which it does. And that's a good one. It's expanding slowly. They don't always expand slowly, which is another problem that I have with them. You can see now it's inflated fully. Um, so this does a pretty good job of sealing off your ear, actually. Like when it expands like this, it's pretty good. Um, and they don't really stick out much, like far out of your ear. And you know, they're once they're in there, you kind of forget about them after a while. So I would rate them as being pretty comfortable. But getting them into your ear is a faff. Like rolling them up and you know sticking them in, and then they don't go in properly because like they expand too quick, uh, or your ear is too dry. Um, or they go all blunt in the end. Um, they just, they're annoying. They don't always work the way that you expect them to. And they're kind of a faff. And that's, that's irritating. That's why I wanted to look to see if I could um, use decibels better because they appear to be more convenient. Um, because there have certainly been days where I've just been like, okay, that one's not working, and another one, that one's not working, and another one, that one's not working, and every time I'm generating like a, a foam thingy and a piece of plastic. And that's why I've got one in this bag, because that was in my pocket as like an extra one, where I had broken up in this bag to get one foam plug out of it to put in one ear, because the other ear had worked, obviously. Um, so... That's a big negative point about these. Um, and up against that, like the decibels are reusable and they're super easy to insert or move. So like the convenience factor is really, really big, right? Uh, on the downside, there aren't any cleaning instructions for decibels. Like I'm not sure how you'd clean them. Um, like obviously this this molded bit you could just wash that that's fine but I don't know about the foam I'd kind of worry about washing the foam um, maybe you can just wash it in cold water I don't know um, and irritatingly like they're not as comfortable as I expected so, like I said, these ones, you put them in, once they're in, you forget about them after a while, right? Uh, but these ones, so this molded part is hard and rigid, right? It doesn't, it doesn't flex, it doesn't deform. This is the shape that it is. And like my helmet, it crushes my ears a bit. Right, and it presses in against the sides of my head. Um, and that means this is like these big molded parts, they make my ears sore. And that's the last thing you want. You don't want something that's gonna make your ears sore. I don't mean like the inside of my ear, like the outside of my ear, right? And yeah, like when you've not got a helmet on, they're fine. So, you know, walking around the house, they're fine. But once you put the helmet on, they're just, they're not comfortable. 
Um, which brings us on to their primary usage, which is like, do they protect your hearing better than the other ones? And in a word, no. So you can see on top of the box here for the disposables that they have an SNR rating and you probably can't read that, but I'll bring it up close. So here we go, 37, 34 and 31. Um, now, that's those different numbers are for different frequencies, and basically you drop four off that number to figure out how well they're doing at that frequency. So, uh, thirty-one would be twenty-seven decibels of reduction, and thirty-seven would be thirty-four decibels of reduction. So you're looking at between. 27 and 34 decibels knocked off the noise that you're hearing um, with obviously higher frequencies being affected more than lower frequencies. Now decibels are rated at NRR 31 which is not the same scale even if the number is like it's kind of similar uh, so that kind of fooled me as well um, but uh, after some googling, what I figured out is you subtract 7, divide by 2, and then subtract, subtract the result from the rating. Super simple. So 31 minus 7 is 24, divided by 2 is 12, subtract that from 31 to get 19. So 19 decibels of noise reduction. Now, the main reason I looked these numbers up is because I didn't think they were as good as my disposables. I didn't look that up until I'd actually worn them. And they're all right, like around town and like at some of the slower back roads, uh, back roads uh, around here. Uh, if you're doing 50 or so, you, you know, you really notice the difference. Um, I don't particularly rate them above 60. I wouldn't wear them on a motorway trip, like especially if you're planning on beating those like Google arrival estimates. I don't think these are going to be appropriate sound protection. Uh, whereas the disposables, like they feel fine at motorway speeds. And I've worn these on the Autobahn and the wind noise at like around 100, that's 160 kilometers an hour, uh, is noticeable, but not uncomfortable, right? So I would say that those numbers line up with my experience. So would I recommend either of these? They both have the downsides. Um, I'm not a big fan of the disposables. I'm really not. They're just they're such a faff. They're so annoying, but they work better in a helmet. Uh, and the noise reduction is so much better. So I wouldn't use decibels for motorbike riding. Um, just because of the discomfort thing, um, that in the helmet, they don't work. Uh, well, I, I mean, they reduce the sound, but like, they're not comfortable enough. Um, and if it wasn't for that, I think they'd be fine for like, just around town. You know, if you're just riding in the city, just pop them in, put your helmet on, off you go. Uh, really simple, but I, I can't recommend them under a helmet. They're just too uncomfortable. Um... That said, if you're not doing something that presses on your ears, like, you know, you're just operating some machinery or you're doing some DIY or something, um, like, I think they're much better than disposables, so long as the, the noise reduction is sufficient. When I say much better than disposables, that's just because you can pop them in and out really easily. Um, obviously, the disposables are going to continue to be better at noise reduction, but in terms of convenience and comfort, I'd say that the decibels edges them out in those situations. And I'm actually thinking of trying them out on a flight sometime because uh, like just the ability to just pop them in and out makes them really good for a flight where like a flight attendant might come along and like say something to you and ask you if you want tea or something. Um, and having to deal with like these things in that scenario is annoying. So in conclusion, 
yeah, uh, motorbike. Just use these. Um, I guess at some point I might try getting one of the like custom molded things. But um, from what I've tried, uh, like I tried a few things, a few different types of earplugs. Um, and I've tried these out and just like, I've, I've yet to find something that are better than these like orange 1100 things. Um, and the decibels, I wouldn't use them on a motorbike, but they're fine for like other stuff where you're not having your head pressed in on. I guess it's the end of the video. Uh, remember to like it if you found it useful. Uh, put a comment below if you have a question or just want to tell me that I'm wrong and a horrible person or whatever. Uh, watch some of my other videos, you might like them too. Uh, subscribe if you do and also like whatever the bell does.